to everyone welcome to our youtube channel vkr soft in this video we are going to discuss the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller these two all are very common terms in embedded system this video will be helpful who start their career in embedded system what is microprocessor microprocessor is a central processing unit that is designed to execute instructions and perform arithmetic and logical operations in a computer system it is an ic integrated circuit that serves as a brain of a computer the microprocessor are responsible for carrying out the instructions of a computer program by fetching decoding and executing them they are commonly found in personal computers laptops smartphones and various electronic devices and microprocessor has only cpu rest everything need to be connected externally for an example memory unit and io devices timer serial peripheral interface everything need to be connected externally with the microprocessor and the intel core i5 amd ryzen they are the very common and famous processor manufacturer and the use case for microprocessor is our laptop that means personal computer mobile phone high performance computing devices all those are the use cases for microprocessor how microprocessor basically works it has to perform four operations fetch decode execute and store fetch means it will retrieve an instruction from memory decode is nothing about interprets the instruction to determine the required operation execute means it perform the operation like arithmetic logic or data handling and finally whatever the execution is done the same will be right back to the memory or register so this is the way microprocessor works then what is microcontroller microcontroller sometimes is called as soc system on chip it has all the internal section for an example it has cpu it has rom ram all memory unit it has timers it will has the serial ports all everything will be there as part of in a single chip that is why microcontroller is a small integrated circuit that combines a microprocessor core memory and peripheral devices like ports timers and a to d converters everything particularly microcontroller is designed to perform specific task and control function in embedded system the common use case in for microcontroller is electronic devices like home appliances automotive systems industrial machinery and consumer electronics and when it is coming to microcontroller and microprocessor differences microcontroller is a heart of an embedded system and microprocessor is a heart of a computer system and the example the real time example is like you can take arduino quick microcontroller 8051 stm32 these all are the common use case or examples for microcontroller the characteristics of microcontroller is as i mentioned it is specifically designed for to perform a specific task for an example if you want to switch on the light and off then you can prefer the microcontroller and at the same time microcontroller is a low power consumption it is optimized for low power and it is when it is coming to cost wise it's a low cost and now it is the time to discuss about what is the real difference between microprocessor and microcontroller as part of memory as we discussed now in the microprocessor case we need we need to connect everything as a external or uh, we need external memory storage and everything but in microcontroller case we have a on chip memory like ram rom e from flash everything according to peripheral we need to connect everything externally in the microprocessor but in the microcontroller case we will have everything internally coming to the clock speed actually microprocessor it's specifically for a heavy duty task that is why microprocessor is prefer for the multitasking but it, when it is coming to microcontroller it is efficient for a specific task when it is coming to power consumption microprocessor have a high power consumption but in microcontroller it is for low power consumption when it is coming to connectivity it handle high speed transfer but microcontroller supports low to moderate speed communication like i to c spi and uart and when it is coming to operating system perspective it will need a full fledged os for an example linux windows but in this microcontroller it's optional it's no os or lightweight rtos when it is coming to use case microprocessor is specifically for a gener generic computing high complexity capacity system but is when it is coming to microcontroller it's coming for a battery powered because of low power consumption and cost wise microprocessor is higher cost 
but microcontroller is a lower cost one so based on all these things how will you decide which one is suitable for uh, your project whether it is microprocessor or microcontroller so the choice between a microprocessor and microcontroller depends on the specific application requirements including processing power system complexity power consumption cost flexibility and development considerations so based on that you can choose whether for your project need you need a microprocessor or microcontroller in the upcoming videos we will see more detail about how functionally microprocessor and microcontroller works for that you can stay with us if you like this video please share it with your friends if you want to stay with us for more technical content then please subscribe our channel thank you so much have a nice day